resurrection, O Christ our Savior, the angels in heaven sing, enable us also on earth to to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and uncreated Trinity, always, now, and forever, and ever. Amen. Christos vos gracis mertvek, smertius smert podolo, itim shovrabach, jitya daruvo. God arise and let his enemies be scattered and let those who hate him flee from before his face. As smoke vanishes, let them vanish, as wax melts before the fire. Christ is risen from the dead, trembling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. So let sinners perish before the face of God, but let the righteous be glad. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead. 
dead, trampling death by death. And to those in the tombs, giving life. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from on high and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace throughout the world, for the well-being of God's holy churches, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our most blessed patriarch, Sviatoslav, our most reverend metropolitan Lawrence, our God loving Bishop David, the reverend priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. For our nation, under God, for our government, and for all the military, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the seafarers and travelers, for the sick and the suffering, for those held captive and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, For all glory, honor, and worship befit you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. 
воскресенье день просветим селью Господи. Пасха Господна, Пасха, від смерти Бога до життя, і від земли до небес. Христос Бог наш перевел, перемоги пісню співаємо. Христос Воскрес із нами. Let us purify our senses, and we shall behold Christ, radiating the inaccessible light of his resurrection. Rejoice, we shall hear him say to us as we shout the victory hymn. Christ is risen from the dead. Let all heaven burst with joy. Let all the earth resound with gladness. Let all creation dance in celebration. For Christ has risen our eternal joy. Christ is risen from the dead, trembling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Redite pe mono vepitia, Shun is common and a plead no ho chudes no ho ve pleva ha 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 ye. All in this net lean ye jerela, ye ke veto chil his robo Christos. Nyomu me ut verju ye mo. This was was glass is mine. Now all is filled with light. Heaven and earth and the lower regions, let all creation celebrate the rising of Christ. In him is our strength. Christ is risen from the dead. Yesterday I was buried with you, O Christ. Today I rise with you in your resurrection. Yesterday I was crucified with you. Glorify me with you, O Savior, in your kingdom. Christos was glasses Christ is risen from the dead. Trampling death by death. And to Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To For you are our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Before the dawn, the women came with Mary, and found the stone rolled away from the tomb. Then suddenly they heard the angel say, Why do you seek among the dead as a mortal, the one who is everlasting light? Behold the linens of burial. Go in haste and proclaim to the world, The Lord is risen having conquered death by death. For he is the Son of God, the Savior of mankind. Now 
божественный сторожи, Богот натхнени авокум, кай стане с нами, И покаже светло нос я цангела, Що ясно звищає, Нині спасіння світові, Бог воскрес Христос, як всемогутний. Христос воскрес із мати. Christ our Pascha has appeared as a child, the sun that opens the virgin's womb. He is called the lamb as one destined to be food. Unblemished, for he has not tasted defilement, and perfect, for he is our true God. Christ is risen from the dead. Christ, the crown by which we are blessed, has appeared as a yearling lamb. Freely he has given himself as our cleansing paschal sacrifice. From the tomb he has shone forth our radiant Son of Righteousness. David, the forebearer of the Lord, danced and leapt with the symbolic ark, but we, God's holy people, beholding the fulfillment of the symbols, let us piously rejoice, for Christ is risen as the Almighty One. Christ is risen from the dead, trembling death by death, and to the Vidrano horan kochu vaimo, iza mist mira, pis new prenesim vladeci, i krista po bachemo pravde sonce, i v sim jet ya osvit yulia. Restas vas krasis na. The souls bound in the chains of Hades, O Christ, seeing your compassion without measure, pressed onward to the light with joyful steps, giving praise to the eternal Pascha. Let us go with lamps in hand to meet Christ, who comes from the tomb like a bridegroom, and with the festive ranks of angels, let us celebrate the saving Pascha of God. Zeshov te Christe lebeni pid semni, i rozbil kajdani večni, ščo držali ozjaznenek i na treti den. Jak iz keta jona voskros kres te izrobu. Hristos voskres iz mene, you arose, O Christ, and yet the tomb remained sealed, as at your birth the virgin's womb remained unharmed, and you have opened for us the gates of paradise. Christ has risen from the dead. O my Savior, as God, you brought yourself freely to the Father, 
a victim unsacrificed and living, resurrecting Adam, the father of us all. When you arose from the grave, Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs, giving life. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever-Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and to you we give glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. When you rose from the tomb, you also raised the dead and resurrected Adam. Eve exalts in your resurrection. And the ends of the world celebrate your rising from the dead, O most merciful one. Before the dawn, the myrrh-bearing women sought, as those who seek the day, their son, who was before the sun, yet has descended to the grave. And they cried to each other, O oh, friends, come let us anoint with spices his life-bearing yet buried body, the flesh which raised fallen Adam and now lies in the tomb. Let us assemble and, like the Magi, let us hasten and let us worship. Let us bring myrrh as a gift to him who is wrapped now, not in swaddling clothes but in a winding sheet. Let us lament and cry. Arise, O Master, and bestow resurrection on the fallen. Bestow resurrection on the fallen. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We venerate your cross, O Christ, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God, and we know no other than you. We call on your name, O oh, come all you faithful. Let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For through the cross joy has come to all the world, ever blessing the Lord. We sing the praises of his resurrection. For by enduring the cross for all, he destroyed death by death. Jesus is risen from the tomb as he foretold. Granting us eternal life and great mercy. Doich to Lunica is pece visvalu, stausi Ludeno uterpit yak smerni, 
и страждением зодягая смерти красою не тлиня. Єдиний благословений у цей Бог і препославлений. The godly women hastened to you with myrrh, O Christ. In tears they had sought you as dead, but in joy they worshipped you as the living God and proclaim the mystical Pascha to your disciples. Christ has risen from the dead. We celebrate the death of death and the overthrow of Hades, the beginning of another life which is eternal. And in exaltation we sing the praises of its source. He alone is blessed and most great, glorious, the God of our Father. This is the bright and saving night, sacred and supremely festal. It heralds the radiant day of the resurrection, on which the timeless light shone forth bodily from the tomb for all. Christ is risen from the dead, trembling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Se provisione is te den, Перші по суботі, царстві і Господні, свято над святом і торжество всіх торжеств. Цей день прославляємо Христа навіки. Христос воскрес із мертвих. Come on this chosen day of the resurrection. Let us partake of the new fruit of the vine. Let us share in the divine rejoicing of the kingdom of Christ, praising him as God forevermore. Christ is risen from the dead. Lift up your eyes, O Sion, and round about and see. Your children, like divinely shining stars, assemble from the north, the south, the east, and the west to bless Christ in you forevermore. Father, almighty word and spirit, one nature in three persons, surpassing essence and divinity. In you have we been baptized, and you we bless forevermore. Christ is risen from the dead, trembling death by death, and to In hymns, let us extol the Theotokos and the Mother of the Light.
divine, how beloved, how sweet is your voice, O Christ, for you have faithfully promised to be with us to the end of the world. Having this as our anchor of hope, we the faithful rejoice. O Christ, great and most holy Pascha, O wisdom, word, and power of God, grant that we may more perfectly partake of you in the never-ending day of your kingdom. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For all the powers of heaven praise you, and to you we give glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Salvation of the world. 
Son and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Let us be attentive, peace be with all, wisdom, let us be attentive. This is the day which the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Give thanks 
to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures for everlasting. And this is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Wisdom. A reading from the Acts of the Holy Apostles. Let us be attentive. Brethren, in the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven. After giving instructions to the apostles through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to, to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Peace be with you, reader. Wisdom, let us be attentive. When you rise, you will have compassion on Sion. The Lord looked down from heaven to earth to hear the groans of the prisoners, to set free the sons of those put to death. stand aright and let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to the evangelist John. Let us be attentive. Now chale bulo slovo, i slovo bulo v Boha, i slovo bulo v Boha. Fil bid'i kana al kalima, wa al kalima tu kana inda Allah, wa kana Allahu kalima. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. Z Bohom vono bulo spukod veko, Nem postalo vse i niščo, što postalo, ne postalo bez njoho. Hada kana fil bid'i inda Allah, kullu bihi kuwin, wa bighayrihi lam yakun shay'an mimma kuwin. He was present to God in the beginning, through him all things came into being, 
and apart from him nothing came to be. У ньому було життя, і життя було світло людей, і світло світить, і темряві, і темрява його не поняла. Фіхі канат іль хаяту, вал хаяту канат нур аннас, вал нуру юдіу фі зулмати, вал зулмату лаб тудрикху. Whatever came to be in him found life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. poslane Bohom, jakomu imja Ivan, prišov vin svitkom, šob svičite pro svitlo, šob vsi čeres njoho ovirovali. كان رجلا مرسل من الله اسمه يوحنا هذا جاء للشهادة لكي يشهد للنور حتى يؤمن الجميع بواسطته. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe. Не був він світло, був лише, щоб свідчити про світло. Справжнє світло було те, що просвідчує кожну людину. Воно прийшло у світ. Лем якон хуа нур, бал кана л'яшхада лі нур. Кана нуру л'хакіки, аллазі юнуіру кулла інсанін атін іла л'алам. Бал онлі ті тестифай ті л'лайт, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. Bulo o sviti i svit postav čeres njoho, i svit ne piznjav joho, prišlo do svojih, i svoji joho ne prinjali. Kana fil alam wal alam bihi ukuvin, والعالم لم يعرفه أتى إلى خاصته وخاصته لم تقبله. He was in the world and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet he did not; his own did not accept him. كتريش يهوب برنيلي. Tim dalo z moho ditme, Bože mi state tim, Što viriju tvim ja joho, Jaki ne zgrove, Ni z telesnoho božanja, Ni z pohoti čolovičoji, Ali vid Boha narodile sja. Fama kule ladhina qabiluhu fa'atahum sultanan, An yakunu abda Allah, الذين يؤمنون باسمه الذين لا من دم ولا من مشيئة لحم ولا من مشيئة رجل لكن من الله ولدوا. Any who did accept him he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood nor by carnal desire. Nor by man's willing it, but by God. I slovo stalo tilom, i oselilo se miž nami, i my bacili jeho slavu, slavu jednorodnoho vidocia, povnoho blahodati ta istine. Ol kalimatu sara jesedan wa halla fina, وقد أبصرنا مجده مجدا وحيدا من الآب مملوءا نعمة وحقا. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us, and we have seen His glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Ivan switched. Про нього і проголошує, кажучи, ось той, 
pro koho ja hovoril, to ještě jde za mnou, isnoval předo mnou, buraniš za mene. O Johanna šehda lehu a sarcha kailan, hada hu aladhi kultu anhu in aladhi jakti badi, kad kena kabli li anhu akdam minni. John testified to him by proclaiming, This is he of whom I said, The one who comes after me ranks ahead of me, for he was before me. Z jeho povnoty my vsi prinjeli blahodat za blahodat. On im tila ihi nahnu kulluna akhazna, of his fullness we have all had a share, love following upon love. وَأَمَّا النَّعْمَةُ وَالْحَقِّ فَبِيَسُوعُ الْمَسِيحِ قَدْ حَصُلَا حَقًّا For while the law was given through Moses, this enduring love came through Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Christ is risen. Indeed, is risen. What a joyous day, a day in which we uh, uh, join along with uh, St. John as we uh, recall and uh, reflect our love for our Master, the one who uh, was never made but uh, is, is truly uh, with us through all eternity, our Lord Jesus Christ. And when we come together to celebrate these very holy and precious days, it's very important for us to recall our own relationships with each other and, of course, with God. Oftentimes, when we think of this celebration of Easter and of this entire season, we uh, tend to lose our focus on, uh, on, along the way. We tend to lose our focus on the great joy of these two days, both on Good Friday and today as we celebrate Easter, Pascha, the new Passover. There is a way to, uh, to reflect upon it in a way that a common culture maybe would understand it a little bit better. When we think of Good Friday, think of Valentine's Day. We know on Valentine's Day that uh, we share with each other our love for one another. We have someone very special in our life. And we uh, have as a sign of love the heart that is often used as a symbol of our love. The sign on Good Friday is the sign of love is the cross instead. The perfection of love on Valentine's Day is an arrow which is pierced through the center saying that you have uh, hit my heart in a perfect way. The sign of perfection on Good Friday are the nails and the spear which pierced our Lord. But indeed it is that, that time of uh, great joy of the crucifixion, sorrow for our own sins, 
but joy because God gave us this symbol of love and this act of love in his crucifixion, his passion, his death on the cross, leading to this one and glorious day. So what other feast or what other kind of holiday can we associate with Easter then, this Passover? Well, let's think of Thanksgiving. Because of this day, because of that empty tomb, the world has now changed. Heaven's doors have been opened. And we now have a new path to take. It's not a path that ends here upon the earth, but a path into eternal life. But it's a day that I'm thankful for so many different things. And in this season, I'd like to, for you to reflect on what you're thankful for as well. Well, I'm thankful for the doctors and the nurses and all the healthcare workers. I'm thankful for all the first responders and all those who uh, put themselves in harm's way for us. I'm thankful for grocery store and convenience store and restaurant workers. Believe me, you've, uh, you've uh, been very good to me and your patience uh, for all of us. I'm thankful for food bank and shelter workers. I'm thankful also for the truckers and the delivery drivers, for the bus and taxi drivers, for the senior home workers. I'm thankful for those who clean and they cook for us. I'm thankful for the teachers and caregivers, the city workers who work outside and inside caring for us. I'm thankful for the farmers and for the ranchers who have been and will soon be out on the fields once again. In other words, I'm thankful for all those who keep us healthy, safe, and fed. But I'm also thankful for all of you who are still working, keeping our economy moving. I'm thankful for our civil authorities and our public workers. I'm also thankful to have in my prayers all those who are all the more adversely affected by this pandemic, especially those who have been laid off, for those who are facing either economic or physical challenges, perhaps greater than others. I'm thankful for all of you who are staying home in order to stop this spread of this virus. May God bless each and every one of you on this festive day. But my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm particularly thankful in this holy season. I'm thankful especially for the persons of faith, those who are filled with the knowledge, the assurance, and the joy of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, those who have been models of peace, of confidence, and of faith for others in these trying times. I'm thankful for the parents and grandparents who have always taught and modeled for their children the trust in God. Although wealth, possessions, health, and even our breath can be taken away from us, nothing can take away our faith if we are strong. Faith in the resurrection of Christ and of the eternal life that has been offered to us if we act to participate in Him here and now. St. John Chrysostom, in his Easter homily, uses the parable of the banquet that our Lord had shared with us. And he says on this wonderful day of Easter that the banquet is ready, that the table is fully laden, that there is so much uh, that uh, is waiting for us. All we have to do is come to the resurrection, be there at the side of the tomb, see the stone that has been rolled away, for today is the day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. My dear brothers and sisters on Christ, on behalf of His Excellency Bishop David Matuk, the Bishop of Edmonton, of all the clergy of the parish council here at St. Stephen's, and of myself, pass our greatest wishes to all of you for a very holy and joyful Easter. May this moment of the resurrection reign in your hearts. May God's love for you be a, a moving uh, time. May his uh, gift, his valentine of the cross, lead you always forward, forward to his love, forward to that eternal life which he gives to us. May God bless your day. May God bless your season. May God bless all of you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christos vos gras.
Let us all say with our whole soul and our whole mind, let us say, Almighty Lord, God of our fathers, we pray you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, in the greatness of your compassion, we pray you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We also pray for our most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most blessed patriarchs, Svetoslav, our most reverend Metropolitan Lawrence, our God-loving Bishop David, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers and for all of our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We also pray for our nation under God, for our government and for all the military. Lord, We also pray for the people here present who await your great and bountiful mercies, for those who have been kind to us and for all Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Again and again in peace, let the faithful pray to the Lord. Lord Wisdom, so that always protected by your might, we may give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. God, remember in his kingdom our most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most blessed patriarch, Sviatoslav, our most reverend metropolitan lords, our God-loving Bishop David, all the priestly, diaconal, and religious orders, our nation under God, our government, and all the military, the noble and ever-to-be-remembered founders and benefactors of this holy church, and all of you Orthodox Christians, always now and forever and ever. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. For the precious gifts that have been presented, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another so that we may be of one mind in confessing. The doors, the doors, in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear. Let us be attentive to offer in peace the holy oblation. The mercy of peace, the sacrifice of The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. We have lifted them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right and just to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. crying, exclaiming, and saying the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord of This is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sin. Drink 
drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. We offer to you yours of your own in behalf of all and for all. Especially for our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary. Among the first, remember, O Lord, our most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most blessed patriarchs, Fyotoslav, our most reverend metropolitan Lawrence, our God-loving Bishop David, for the sake of your holy churches, grant that they may live in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, and rightly impart the word of your truth. And grant that with one voice and with one heart, we may glorify and sing praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts which have been presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our loving God, who has received them as a spiritual fragrance upon his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar, may send down on us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord have that we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help and save us, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. 
or an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask the Lord. For all that is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. That we may spend the rest of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, one that is painless and ashamed and peaceful, and for a good defense of the awesome tribunal of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Having asked for unity of the faith and for the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Make us worthy, O Master, with confidence and without condemnation to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and say. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To the grace, mercies, and loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Attend, O Lord, Jesus Christ our God, from your holy dwelling and from the throne of glory in your kingdom, and come to sanctify us, you who are seated on high with the Father and are invisibly present here with us. Deign to give to us with your mighty hand, your most pure body and precious blood, and through us to all the people. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us be attentive. The holy things for the holy. that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, 
who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. Accept me this day, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not tell the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be unto me not for judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. I have sinned without number. Forgive me, O Lord. Approach with the fear of God and with faith, for Christ is risen. Christ is risen from the dead, trembling death by death, and to those in the tombs, giving life. Dear friends, as it is not possible to receive the Holy Eucharist on the Feast of the Resurrection of our Lord, we will pray the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in these holy gifts. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you now, I place before you my whole life and hope, O loving Master and I ask, pray, and entreat you, make me worthy to partake in a mystical way and with a pure conscience of your awesome and heavenly mysteries, for forgiveness of sins, for the pardon of offenses, for communion of the Holy Spirit, for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, for confidence before you, and not for judgment or condemnation, I embrace you as you enter and abide in me, and I unite myself completely to you. Permeate my soul and body, and never permit me to be separated from you again. Amen. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance, for Christ is risen. now and forever and ever. Amen, for Christ is risen. having received the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly and life-giving awesome mysteries of Christ, let us rightly give thanks to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Having asked this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. You, For you are our sanctification and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, 
now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Brothers and sisters, today the resurrection of our Lord brings light and salvation to us, and the church of the Lord is filled with people. See how many of the chosen faithful have not only endured with joy the weariness of fasting, but with lighted candles are also eager to offer gifts to the King of Ages on the Feast of the Resurrection. The whole world rejoices today in the resurrection of Christ. Heaven is purified by the brightness of the Godhead. The earth is clothed, the sea is calm, tyranny is stopped, reverence grows, catechumens are enlightened, peace is made with enemies, wanderers have returned, sinners are forgiven, churches are joyful, and Christ God is glorified. Not only do we carry candles offering gifts to the King of Ages, but the newly baptized receive the grace of the Spirit. Since you are a good God and love mankind, receive the sacrifice and worship of our humble priests and give the sin, forgive the sins of both the young and the old. Give strength to the civil authorities Grant long life to our bishop. Preserve all the clergy and people in oneness of mind. Through the prayers of your most pure mother, of the holy apostles and of the myrrh-bearing women, protect, save, have mercy, and preserve all the people here present in the enjoyment of your divine, immortal and life-giving mysteries. For you are the resurrection from death, O Christ our God, and we give glory to you together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. blessing of the Lord be upon you with his grace and love for mankind always now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to you, O Christ, our God, our hope. Glory be to you. Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, trampling death by death unto those in the tombs, giving life through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy proto-martyr Stephen, patron of this church, and of all the saints, will have mercy and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. There are two special blessings that we traditionally would have at this time as well. The very first is the artos, the bread of the risen Lord. No longer are we concerned with the bread of haste. We now have the bread of victory, the victory of Christ over death. And so we'll be brought blessing the artos first, 
And then following that, we will continue with the blessing of the Easter foods. The Easter foods, again, are a continuation or a reflection of the Passover meal. Once again, no longer a meal of haste, but now a meal of, of joy. It's a, a time in which uh, families will come together and uh, will, will join in the unity and communion with Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we are unable to join together today in, uh, in, in uh, celebrating and sharing, rather, of the Holy Eucharist, May your Easter uh, uh, meals together, may that uh, bread, that risen Lord, that Pascha, uh, may that be a, a time of great joy for you. So I invite you now to, uh, to bring out your Easter baskets and, and uh, following the blessing of the Artos, we will be blessing uh, the uh, baskets as well and uh, we'll be doing a virtual blessing for you as you are at, in your homes prepared. Let us pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God Almighty and Lord all sovereign, during Israel's exodus out of Egypt and the release of your people from Pharaoh's cruel bondage, you gave command through your servant Moses to slaughter the lamb and prefigured the lamb that was willingly sacrificed on the cross for us the Lamb that takes away the sins of the whole world, your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Look with favor now upon this bread. We humbly beseech you and bless and sanctify it. For we, your servants, offer it to the honor, glory, and memory of the glorious resurrection of this, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we were freed from eternal slavery to the enemies and from the indissoluble bonds of Hades, and through whom we attain release and find safe passage. We present this bread before your majesty now on this most shining, glorious day of Easter. Grant that we who present it, venerate it, and partake of it may also partake, in, partake of your heavenly blessings. Remove all pain and illness from us by your power, and give health to everyone. For you are the source of blessing, bestower of healings, and we render glory to you, the eternal Father, together with your only begotten Son, and your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. This Artos is blessed and sanctified by the sprinkling of this holy water, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord o oh, Holy Master, Father Almighty, Eternal God, Deign to bless the bread with your holy and divine blessing so that to all who consume of it, it may be for the salvation of the soul and for the health of the body, for the protection against all sickness, as well as the protection against every type of evil attack. Together with our Lord Jesus Christ who descended from heaven and gave life to salvation and salvation to mankind, who lives and reigns in oneness with the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Descend, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, upon this Paschal Lamb and all other meat products, and bless and sanctify them as you did bless and sanctify the ram which was offered to you by your faithful servant Abraham and the lamb which Abel brought before you as a burnt offering. 
Likewise the fatted calf which you did command to be slain for your son who had gone astray and had returned again to you, that even as he was accounted worthy to enjoy your goodness, so that as we all partake of these foods, sanctified and blessed by you, we too may be accounted worthy of your blessings and health because of your faithful Christ and his resurrection. For you are the true nourishment, the giver of all good things to those whom you bless and sanctify, O Lord Jesus Christ. And to you we give glory together with your unoriginate Father and your most holy, good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O Master, Lord, our God, creator and maker of all things, bless the cheese, the butter, together with the eggs and all other foods, and preserve us in your loving kindness as we partake of these ungrudgingly bestowed gifts, so also may we be filled with your unspeakable goodness because of the most unique resurrection from the dead of our Lord Jesus Christ. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Through the blessing of the Almighty God and by the power of the life-giving cross and by the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, may all evil fancy vanish and all diabolical powers be banished from these foods in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. With the sprinkling of this holy water, all these foods are now blessed and sanctified in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, trampling death by his death, and to those in the tombs giving life, through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother, by the holy, glorious, and all praise for the apostles, of the holy proto-martyr Stephen, patron of this church, and of all the saints will have mercy and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. Christos vos Christos vos Christos vos and we glorify his holy resurrection on the third day.